getting so itchy now in my face of course it is and then i'm gonna itch it all right hello friends thank you for joining me today um i don't really know what to say it's been crazy i feel like the world is literally falling apart i don't want to dwell on it too much i am just hoping that everybody is healthy and safe and just don't go out just sit at home do whatever but just try to go out as less as possible i have not worn makeup in about four weeks i want to say that's how long i am in quarantine i think this is actually week four i have been working from home and right when this pandemic hit i got sick with a cold and then obviously of course i thought oh my god i have it i have it i had a really bad cough i had a runny nose thankfully i did not have a fever i did not have any aches and pains it was just you know a regular cold but because of what was going on in the world I feared for the worst I do feel a lot better now I still have the tiniest bit of a cough and the runny nose hence why my nose is still super super red other than that I feel good I've been working from home like usual so I really cannot complain so for today I thought let's just sit down maybe play with some makeup because I have not touched anything anything and then maybe talk about a few things that I've been doing to keep myself healthy let's just move this hair out of my face face and if you noticed yes my hair is back that um, mauve pink color i had silver and purple in a previous video but i wasn't really feeling it and then i was just thinking okay i'm gonna change it what will i change it to then i looked at some pictures and i was like you know what that mauve pink was actually really good so i just went back to this i already primed my face i used my favorite bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and look at that this is the big size this is the 100 ml which they brought out i think over the holidays last year it was limited edition but jesus this is so good. I mean, they should have it in this size. I haven't used it ever since I quarantined myself because I'm like, I don't want to waste it. It's so good. But for today, I used it. And then I topped it off with Elf's Poreless Putty Primer. I don't know how to feel about this. I think they really, really hyped it up and I bought into the hype. Fortunately, this was an affordable hype to buy into, so I'm not that mad. I don't really like it. It's really like draggy on the skin it takes a while to work it in i don't know has anybody else had this or are you absolutely loving this and i'm using it wrong i don't know what kind of look we are going for today probably something basic i don't want to get all glammed up and then just go sit on the couch i mean maybe it'll do good for me inside um, we will just see how it goes but i do want to start with the eyes and i want to play with my um tati beauty eyeshadow palette this is like amazing it's absolutely my favorite eyeshadow palette so far if you have not seen it even though I think you have it looks like this it is so cool the first row is matte then you have sequin then you have metallic and then you have glitters absolutely love this of course as a neutral eyeshadow lover I mainly focus in this section here but I have ventured out here to the darker colors yeah love everything about this palette i brought you in a little bit closer because we're gonna focus on the eyes and also what are we thinking of this um bushy brow game i've just let them go a tiny bit tweeze here and here but otherwise it's just eyebrow central over here i i don't really care either for eyeshadow primer i got this p louise base in number two it was the lightest that they had because everything was sold out i've heard a lot of good things about this eyeshadow base i know it's like for makeup artists who like to create like amazing eyeshadow looks and do cut creases and all we won't be doing that today but i do want to see what all the hype is about not sure how much to put on okay so it's thick it feels like I just rubbed a load of concealer on my eye. Jesus, too much. However, it did cover up the lid pretty nice and it's a pretty good match for my skin tone. I just need to put a little bit less on the other eye. It feels really greasy. I definitely want to set this with some eyeshadow that is skin colored. All right. So I'm just gonna cover my lid with this color here. It's the matte in the aura kind of column section, whatever you please. 
so during this time I have been drinking a lot of tea. They say that black tea is really, really good, especially Turkish black tea. About the regular, you know, um, English breakfast tea is good as well, but not as good as the Turkish one. Now they are a bit too strong for me, so I could only have one, but mostly I've been drinking um, just honey lemon tea. So hot water, slice of lemon, and then honey organic honey. Do not get the honey that is just basically melted sugar. Now I'm gonna go into this matte shade here in the Soothe column. I have about two or three of those honey lemon teas a day. I mean it's it's really really good. It really warms you up. If you can handle ginger, it would be good if you put ginger in there, but I hate the smell, the taste of ginger, so I, I just stick to onion and lemon. In the evenings I do drink chamomile tea because it just helps me sleep. I've been having really, really strange dreams. They're actually like movies, they're that weird. Like full on series. It's like I can't get any rest when I'm actually sleeping, so I wake up and then I'm tired from the dream and then I feel like I just wanna have a nap. I'm gonna deepen up the crease with this dark brown over here. Oh god, that was... See, I mean, I only meant to pick up a little bit, but this, you know, this palette is so pigmented and I just love the colors. Absolutely my new favorite palette. I mean, Tati, bring out more. I think my boyfriend just turned on the dishwasher, so that's great for filming. Hmm. I'm telling you, the dishwasher has been working overtime in this house. Another thing we have been doing is if we drink like tea or water or juice or whatever, we do not refill the cup. We just put it straight in the dishwasher because the bacteria, you know, lingers on the rim. We have definitely become some clean maniacs, but better to be safe than sorry. I think I'm just gonna finish off with the sequin shade in the Aura column. There's this one here. It's, it's, has like the tiniest bit of shimmer in it and I just like it for the lid. And now I'm just gonna take an empty fluffy brush and just kind of tie it in all together. And I think I'm gonna leave the lids like that. So a super basic look, this is what I used to do for the office like all the time when I got this palette. And not only with this palette, because you know, these are neutral shades, you can substitute whatever you have and just kinda, you know, do the same. Brown in the crease, darker brown in the edge, and then a light little bit shimmery shade on the lid. Done. Okay, zooming out a bit, I think I wanna do found now or are we gonna do concealer as well see I'm like totally out of my rhythm here I have not worn makeup in forever so I'm kind of like what am I doing maybe we'll use a tiny bit of concealer under the eyes this is my elf 16 hour camo concealer favorite 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 and this is in the shade medium scent absolutely love this one this is the first one I got the um, the hydrating version of it and I was just like okay I'll just pick up medium sand and the medium sand is way darker than this so when am I ever gonna wear that one? But the best thing is with this concealer, you only like need the tiniest bit. I don't have a sponge near me, so we're just gonna dab it up with fingers. While I dab out this concealer, which I think is gonna take forever, another thing that we have been hoarding is kiwis, because kiwis have a very high level of vitamin C which we do need desperately in these times. So I've been having two kiwis, not every day, maybe every second day. So definitely recommend you guys getting loads of kiwis, oranges, bell peppers, because they have a lot of vitamin C as well. So try introduce bell peppers into your diet. And you know, people suddenly trying to live healthy just because of this pandemic, but you know, you should be doing this all the time. You should be washing your hands properly every time and you should eat uh, fruit and vegetables like every day, especially the ones with high vitamin C. Hopefully when this is all over, you know, I'm gonna continue this way. I wanna eat healthy because if you are healthy, 
you have a stronger immune system and you can fight off whatever this world throws at you because I'm telling you <laughs> this won't be the last virus we will ever have so start building up your immune system guys also my nose is super super dry because you know I keep I still have the uh, runny nose so I keep blowing my nose so I can see all the little pieces of skin showing up which is just great and then we also have a surprise guest on the chin and then let's also cover up my eyebrow piercing scar which by the way was the stupidest thing I've ever done getting my eyebrows pierced getting your face pierced I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, I love piercings. I mean, I have loads. It's just the face area. I wish I would have kept clean because <laughs> obviously I had to get piercings in both eyebrows. I mean, you can't see the scar on this one now <laughs> um, because of the bush has overgrown it, but you know, you can still see this one pretty well. Okay, friends, let us move on to powder. So, you know, my favorite is MAC Studio Fix Powder. And then I was like, okay, I have to try something else. Then I found Benefits Hello Happy whatever the name of that powder was you know with the smiley face and that one was really really good however I lost it I don't know where it is I think I left it at my mother's but she hasn't seen it it's nowhere here the brush I use with it is gone then I picked up the new Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix you know it's their whole new line and supposedly supposedly Supposedly, this powder is supposed to be a 16 hour wear powder foundation. No, it's not. It's it's just like a top up powder. It, it's nowhere near 16 hours, but it's the only powder I have at the moment. So I'm gonna need to cake this up for it to cover anything. I did get a light shade. I. I wanted a shade that matches my face. Now I'm thinking that might have been a mistake. Ah, oh, do you know what else I did? I wanted to put foundation underneath this powder because I knew this powder is not good. And I wanted to wear the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick, but I forgot I already put powder on, so we're just gonna have to make do. In my everyday life, I only wear concealer and powder anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but this powder is just not good. I don't know what it is. Is it the combination of the concealer and the powder or the fact that I put the putty primer underneath? But my skin, especially here around the pores, does not look good with this combination. Maybe I've just lost my touch because I haven't worn makeup in such a while. I just, I just, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna put bronzer on and usually when I put bronzer on that usually saves the day. Oh wait, we do need to fill in the brows a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna put gimme brow in it and call it a day. There we go, there's a good old gimme brow in the shade three. Do people laminate brows in Ireland? Is that a thing over here? I think that would be cool. I kind of like the look that it gives, you know, the kind of whoosh. Goes well with my bushy brows at the moment. It'll do. It's not like we have somewhere to go. <laughs> For bronzer, let's use my new favorite. It's not new at all, but we don't, we didn't used to have this in Ireland. We have it now, a uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the one in deep bronzer. And I got this when I went on a work trip to Arizona and I was like, Oh, all these makeup brands and it wasn't really like high-end brands it was more like drugstore brands like physicians formula cover girl heart candy you know that kind of stuff and lo and behold i come back and then in boots i see a display for physicians formula so also i love the smell just so beachy and happy oh god oh wow jesus um I've gone paler because this actually used to look pretty good on me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a mess. Do you know what we've also done? We have switched to soap, like actual hard soap, um, instead of, you know, like shower gels and 
and the soap and like dispensers and stuff so not only because of this pandemic right before everything got shut down I kind of made the decision to try and live I don't know why I'm talking so slow. I made the decision to like stop buying stuff that produced so much waste. All right, and then shower gels and you know, soap. You can buy a bar of soap and it's it does the exact same thing. It's actually quite um, soft, the one we have. I got one from Dove, it's like amazing. It leaves your skin super, super soft. So that's one thing that we have changed up. And also what I want to do, which will be super hard, is try not to buy so much makeup. First of all, you know, the waste aspect. And you know, I have so much makeup. I'm never gonna ever use this up. I'm only one person, like talking and reviewing about makeup. That's not my job. It's just a hobby. It's something I like to do. I love makeup, but I have too much. So I am going to try not to buy that much anymore. I'm only going to buy stuff that I need, such as powder foundations or concealers or eyebrow stuff, because I run through those things a lot quicker. However, I would not need another bronzer for probably another year because I have enough. Same for blushes, same for highlighters. So I'm gonna try not to buy any of those and especially eyeshadow palettes. Like I don't wear that much eyeshadow anyway. So you know, at the moment they're just sitting there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to look at them. I am a collector. I feel like complete when I, when I have a new palette, but it just doesn't make sense. And you know, with what's going on here, imagine if I really was sick, uh, touch wood, all of those eyeshadow palettes and blushes and bronzers would not save me you know so it really doesn't matter how much makeup i have after having said all of that you know i am human you know if there is something that i'm like oh my god i must have then of course i'll get it but it won't be any more mass buying like i used to do i feel like a lot of people are doing this now you know they're trying to cut down reduce and especially nowadays i mean brands are just pushing pushing stuff out i mean just promote your old things you know that the, the products that people love and still use after all these years and from youtubers like what i like to watch is you know shop my stash videos and just using the things they have and rotating different products instead of buying new 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 and then wearing it once and then it'll stay in the drawer okay i think i'm uh, bronzed enough i mean this side just kind of went crazy and i can't seem to dim it down but you'll just have to forgive me okay okay let's move on to blush and again something that i wanted for a long long time but didn't get because we didn't have it here was uh the blush from milani called luminoso i mean this is just gorgeous so nice and so shiny i mean if i put this on it feels like oh i never realized there was a little brush underneath and the mirror that is cool um sidetracked so when i put this blush on i feel like i have already highlighter on i mean it's so luminous and amazing and then again got it in arizona we didn't have it here and then like the physician's formula stand there is melania i mean i guess i can't complain because now we have it here i don't need to travel abroad for these things oh god I mean, I could just use this blush alone. I don't even need to wear a bronzer. Like, wow, this looks gorgeous. I mean, do you see that glow? Ah. And you only need the tiniest bit. It's beautiful and it's super affordable. Like this blush is just perfection for me. You know, I love a glowy blush. La la la. You know, I love a glowy blush. And for the longest time I used to love, you know, NARS Orgasm because it is a glowy blush. But this one is just so much more. Ugh. Yes. I love this. A little bit on the, on the chin. And now it looks like I have more spots on my chin, but whatever. What is next? So usually after my blush, I put on a little bit of highlighter. Yes even though you don't really need it. But for the sake of, you know, getting back into makeup, let's put on a tiny, tiny bit. And this is also from Physicians Formula. Uh, uh, uh. And this is Champagne. Highlighter in the shade Champagne, and I don't know where my voice went. Still fighting the signs of a cough, so even I'm feeling good, I still need to keep healthy, I need to drink 
my honey lemon tea. I need to eat healthy, I need to have loads of fruit and vegetables and also like what works best during these times are like old school tricks, like things people like 50 years ago used to do, like eating garlic, like just raw garlic. I mean that is nature's antibiotic. So me and my boyfriend every morning we just have like a clove of raw garlic and again it needs to be an organic one not the uh, one you get for a euro in the shop I mean you look at the label it comes from China not just only because it comes from China but it's not like organically grown I don't even know if it's real garlic it's just like manufactured it probably grows in one day or something just try to get local organic gap local organic I can't, I can't say it. Just try to get local organic garlic. That's a tongue twister and it's not gonna taste as bitter and it works so good. So let's dip into this highlighter just a teensy bit. This highlighter is kind of like cream, but if you just put it on a brush, oh, 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 Jesus. You can get, you know, a, a bit more muted look with the brush, but I mean, this is pretty intense. I mean, oh yeah. Oh yes, glowy products are my favorite. And I literally just dipped in like pew, pew. Oh. You know that just makes my day right there, right there. A little bit on the nose. Do, 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 do. Maybe a little bit on the forehead, try to mute this bronzer here on my forehead. Bring it over to the other side. If a highlighter is called champagne, yes, we like it. I think it's time for mascara. That's usually where I put mascara on now. So I'm gonna use my trusted bad gal bang from Benefit. Still have not found a better mascara than this. And of course it went on my eyelid. Where else would it go? God forbid you stay on the lashes. So for my adult viewers out there, when I had the first two weeks when I had my cold, I mean, my cough was pretty bad. I mean, it was like, it came from within. It was that deep and just kept going. What really helped me through that was a hot whiskey before bedtime. And you know, hot whiskey is something that people have used for ages to cure like cold. So what I just did is put whiskey, lemon, honey and hot water in a glass and there you go, that's your hot whiskey. But it needs to be a good whiskey. It, it can't be like a 10 euro whiskey from Lidl. I prefer Scottish whiskey and that really helped me like the cough was gone like everything here felt super warm The throat wasn't sore. I mean that really suited me But the key thing here is you should only have one max two any more than that You're just drinking so I'm not promoting the consume of alcohol here It's just that hot whiskey as a remedy worked really really well Especially if you have a really bad cough or tightness in your chest and sore throat, the hot whiskey works really, really well for that. I don't like to put mascara on my bottom lashes because it smears, so I'm gonna leave that blank. And I think the last thing I have to do is put on lipstick. I have not worn anything on my lips besides balm, so this will be a shock to the system because I'm gonna use Maybelline's uh, matte ink in the shade Amazonian. And these things are dry. I love this color though, it's so nice. My hands are shaking. It's like I'm putting on lipstick for the first time. And there you have it. It's such a nice shade. I mean, I used to wear this to the office like all the time. It is a little bit darker than a typical nude, so it gives you a little bit of an edge, but still not too much. Okay, I think we're done. I would usually wear setting spray, but I'm that cheap and I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> Plus, I don't think I have any good setting sprays left at the moment. The only one uh, I have is NYX Matte Setting Spray, but I'm, you know, liking the glow, so I don't want to mattify anything here. Damn, I have missed this face. I mean, this was a super easy, super basic makeup look, but just to put it on and kind of, you know, feel a little bit normal again feels really, really good. During this time, just do anything that makes you happy, but stay at home, stay at home. I'm gonna be honest, 
to me, staying at home, it's not that big of a deal. I'm a really big homebody, I love being at home. I love watching, you know, my shows on Netflix or my Real Housewives. I like to cook, I like to play The Sims. Oh Lord, The Sims has gotten me through some days. Yes, if you're a Sims player and you haven't played it in a while, just pick it up. I mean, time flies and it just relaxes your brain. You shut off because working from home can be really, really stressful. It's not the same. It's not the same office environment. You keep having like technical issues. So whenever you have a day off, just like do something that takes your mind somewhere completely else. Give yourself a pampering session, have a honey lemon tea, have a hot whiskey before bedtime. Just stay safe and stay at home. If you have any tips for staying healthy and well, feel free to share them in the comments. I hope that you liked hanging out with me today. I really, really did. I really needed this. And hopefully I will see you again soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.